Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you guys are having a really great day thus far. And so, of course, in this video, I will be taking you through what is currently going on across the Atlantic with focus to being on the Caribbean. And we'll also be taking a look at uh, what the chances are of seeing something develop by the latter part of this week as being forecasted by the GFS model. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so as we take a look at what is happening right now across the North Atlantic, we can definitely see uh, that there isn't a whole lot of activity out there. We have that new blob coming off Africa, maybe in association with a new tropical wave. Uh, going further to the west, we don't see where too much is happening. We see some clusters of some convective activity out there. Uh, let's head to the vicinity of the Caribbean. So down in northern South America, uh, particularly in the vicinity of Trinidad and Tobago, here we see some activity. So you guys down there are likely experiencing some showers and thunderstorms or you have experienced that uh, and you can let me know in the comments what conditions are like for you. Going down into uh, parts of uh, Colombia and Venezuela, we see some spots of some convective activity, but heading further to parts of Guyana, going to Suriname and French Guiana, we're not seeing where much is taking place at the moment. Looking at the general Caribbean region, uh, in the east, it remains pretty dry. Uh, we've got those occasional uh, passing clouds that might dump a little bit of rain here and there, but that's really just it. There isn't any major activity taking place right now in the east. For the ABC Islands, uh, it's been pretty dry down there. Nothing much really anticipated through today. And then, of course, heading further to the west, it is getting there as well, where we see these drier conditions set in. However, heading to later this week, uh, there might be a rainfall increase across some parts of the western Caribbean. And we even have the GFS still being consistent about that potential system that uh, I really don't think that we are going to be seeing something major. But I don't doubt the development of uh, maybe a weak tropical storm at the most. So we're going to be taking a look at the latest model run but firstly let's go on to the rainfall total maps and we're starting out with the GFS here and so we can see that the model is uh, showing that there isn't going to be a whole lot of rainfall across Cuba compared to uh, what we saw a couple of days ago I mean they got so much rain so a bit of rainfall expected across some sections of uh, western Cuba going to the Cayman Islands and parts of the northern Bahamas not too much seen for Jamaica Hispaniola and uh, other surrounding areas things looking to be pretty dry over in the east of course down in Trinidad we have that cluster of uh, convective activity inducing uh, all that rainfall so of course a bit more uh, rainfall expected down there for you guys as well as for another in Guyana some of this is likely to develop heading to later this afternoon uh, similar story for parts of Venezuela and Colombia as well and sections of Central America but going to Belize Guatemala the Yucatan a whole lot isn't expected same story for the Bay Islands and then of course looking at the euro model euro is uh, pretty much in agreement with this showing that there might be a bit of higher totals uh, in sections of Cuba and the Bahamas uh, but overall for the region there isn't too much rainfall activity that is expected across most areas maybe just your average afternoon shower uh, except for down in the vicinity of Trinidad and Tobago of course where we have activity currently taking place there and so guys in terms of us seeing something develop as we head to later down in this week let's take a look at what the models have to show uh, we'll be looking at GFS and Euro again so uh, this is a map showing those isobars which are the black lines that you see and when they're in a circular manner and we see that value there being at least uh, 10 30 millibars or even lower than that we're looking at a low pressure system which could be a tropical cyclone and so there we have the time right there and let's see what gfs is forecasting as of the latest run and here we have it the model is still consistent about that storm developing uh heading to the northwestern caribbean where it is expected to intensify and going into the vicinity of the yucatan so again i really don't think that we're going to be seeing something very very strong should we even see development take place but see what euro has to show and uh, here we're seeing Euro uh, expecting quite a bit of moisture in the vicinity of Central America. Yes, it is expecting all that moisture. And even look at that coming from the tropical Atlantic. That's looking very interesting uh, as we're going to be heading into the middle part of next week. Could we be seeing something uh 
coming from their attempting to get itself together. So uh, we're in the hurricane season and this wouldn't be surprising. And so guys, I don't doubt the development either coming from the uh, tropical Atlantic or the Caribbean, but it's just that conditions might not be conducive enough to allow for something major to form as what the GFS is expecting. So let's take a look at the current wind shear value. And so uh, here we have this graph right here. It might be a bit confusing, but uh, down there on the X axis, we have the time, which is the different months. Here we are in June. Uh, and of course, today is the uh, 11th of June. And so on the Y axis going up, as we head further up, the strength of the wind shear increases that vertical wind shear. And so now we can see that it is actually below average because this black line is what is typical. And notice how it dips for the hurricane season between June and November. So the wind shear is currently below normal. It's not so strong right now. And if it would remain that way, then of course, uh, we could have less interference should that system develop. But of course, there are other conditions or other factors to consider when it comes on to development. One of them being land interaction. If we're going to be having a low pressure area developing and it is too close to land, that is going to be disrupting the circulation of it and uh, pretty much not helping to uh, helping the system to intensify. So it's just going to be a messy system in that case. And uh, we have these sea surface temperatures already being very, very warm to help support uh, that uh, activity, all of that convective activity. But one inhibiting factor uh, that plays a major part is the Saharan dust because once it's going to be making its way into the Caribbean, uh, it is going to be helping to infiltrate any uh, convective activity that develops and prevents any further intensification. Uh, and that is pretty much why we don't see anything really happening right now in the Eastern Caribbean. That's why it's been so dry for the most part and shower activity is pretty much limited because of all that Saharan dust extended across the area. So with more plumes of dust coming in, that is going to be helping to suppress any uh, major development that is going to be taking place. So there you see it. A chance is there that we could see something. And even looking at the GFS uh, simulated infrared satellite imagery, this is what it could possibly look like as we head into the latter part of this week. Uh, going to Wednesday and Thursday, there we see all of that uh, rainfall increase expected across parts of the Western Caribbean extended as far out as into the vicinity of the Bahamas. So uh, this is not for sure what will happen, but this is what could happen based on what the model is expecting. And so guys, of course, I'll continue to keep you posted so that you never get caught off guard and you always stay updated on what is happening out there. Uh, there is nothing new marked on the National Hurricane Center's Outlook map. And so that is pretty much it for this update. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.